All right, so let's look at this. We have uh, a definite integral. We're going to integrate f of x with respect to x, and we're going to evaluate it from a to b. Okay, so when we do that, we take the uh, antiderivative of f of x, which would give us, uh, uh, we'd say capital F of x, and then it's going to be the antiderivative evaluated at this limit minus the antiderivative evaluated at this limit. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take the antiderivative of x squared minus 3. Okay, and we're going to use the power rule. I have a video on that with uh, of integrating this using the power rule. It just doesn't have the, the limits on it. So this is going to equal, okay, so... To integrate this, we're going to add 1 to the exponent, and so that's going to give us x cubed, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent, so that's times 1 third, okay, minus, and then we take the antiderivative of 3, well, whenever we take the antiderivative of a constant term, and it's just a number, and that's going to be 3, and then we add the x, okay. And then we're going to evaluate this from 1 to 2. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, all right. So, what we do is we plug the 2 in for x. So, that's going to give me 1 third times 2 cubed minus 3 times 2. Okay. And then minus, and then we plug the 1 in. So that's going to be 1 third times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1. And you need to make sure that you put all of this in parentheses because it's minus the whole thing. Okay, so so going back to our formula, see this right this part right here, this is the f of 2, and this is our f of 1 or like we had in our formula our f of b minus our f of a okay all right so now it's, it's just arithmetic now so uh, we've got 2 cubed is 8 so that's 8 over 3 minus 6 minus and then that's going to be 1 cubed is 1, so that's minus 1 third minus, and then 3 times 1 is 3. Alright, so this is going to give us uh, 8 thirds minus 6, that'll be 18 over 3, so that's going to be negative 10 over 3. Minus, and then 1 third minus 3, that's going to be, uh, what, negative... Uh, 9 over 3 and 1 third minus 9 over 3 is negative 8 over 3 and so this would give us negative 10 over 3 plus 8 over 3 which equals negative 2 thirds and this would be our solution alright so let's let's take a look at just one more okay. So I'm going to integrate uh, 3 square root of x with respect to x from 1 to 4. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to change the square root of x to x to the 1 half. Okay, because we have to get it in the form of x raised to a power. Okay, so this, and as I'm integrating this using the power rule, I'm assuming that you that you already know how to do the power rule. Okay, if not, you can uh, you can check out my other video where I explain this. Okay, all right. So we're going to 
add one we're gonna add one to the exponent so there's my three and then x to the one half plus one that's x to the three halves and then I multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent so that's times two-thirds and I'm evaluating this from one to four okay and so you can see here that the uh, threes cancel so I'm left with two x to the three halves from one to four okay. and so this is going to give me two times four to the three halves okay I plug the four in for x minus and now I plug the one in for x and that's two times one to the three halves and so this is going to give me two times alright so do we remember how to do this let's come up here uh, and we have uh, four to the three halves so remember if we convert this to radical form that's the square root of four raised to the third and then the square root of four is two raised to the third which equals eight so that's two times eight minus and then one raised to any power is just one uh, so that's going to be times minus two times one which is 16 minus 2 which equals 14 okay. and I hope this has helped uh, I'm gonna I'll do some more videos where our function here is you know like maybe like a trig function or a exponential function or something like that okay so I uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. Thanks.